Peter Contemporary Large Group is kind 28 behind this. I want to focus on that wonderful concept, that vital virtue that unfortunately and regrettably is often forgotten, the virtue of kindness, being kind. The times you will want to be anything but kind. Because it is so much easier to bear a grudge and hate in return or get back or get even. Hate destroys the vessel it's kept in. Revenge never healed the wound. There's one thing all of us have in common, we've been mistreated by somebody. Some of you have known abuse, misunderstanding, and all of this has a way of siphoning your tank of kindness. It can make you hard. And you can get on with hard. You, you can get along with it. In fact, some will even respect you more because you're tough. But I urge you not to be. Be kind, tenderhearted, forgiving one another. When I'm truly free of revenge and bitterness, there is plenty of room in my heart left for kindness. Do what's right. Do justice. Love kindness. Walk humbly with your God. It's amazing what one kind word can do. We don't think anything about it. But to the other person, it breathes life into their spirit. Our words have the power to lift people, to help them get through a challenge, to push them into their destinies. When you tell someone, I love you, I'm proud of you, you did great on that project, you're not just being kind, those are healing words. We don't know what people are going through. They may smile on the outside, but on the inside, they're hurting, they're lonely, they're discouraged. Many people have wounds from the past. Wounds from a relationship that didn't work out. Wounds from people trying to push them down. Just a simple word of encouragement. I believe in you. I'm praying for you. A simple compliment. You look beautiful today. It's no big deal to you. But to them, it's helping heal the wounds. It's lifting their spirits. Is causing them to believe in themselves. You can think well of your friend all day long, but if you never tell them, they'll never know. God wouldn't have brought it up if he didn't want you to tell them. He wouldn't have put that thought in you if the other person didn't need it. You may not know them. It may not make sense to you, but God knows what he's doing. There's a reason they need your healing. Don't withhold it. Don't try to reason it out. Nobody is in your life by accident. Don't ignore what you feel on the inside. That compassion to encourage them. That desire to be their friend. Take time to make them feel loved. Doesn't have to be something big. Just good to see you. I believe in you. I'm praying for you. Just let them know that you care. 